Hello everyone, Colin Kanat here for Woodwork Web. Today we're going to make a lumber rule and I'm even going to show you how it works. Stay tuned. When we go to purchase lumber, there's all sorts of different ways that we can buy lumber. Sometimes they'll actually mark the price right on the board. Sometimes they mark the board feet on the board. Sometimes they don't do anything. They leave it in a bin and it's up to us to figure out what the width is and what the height is. What we're going to do today is make a, a little marking rule or a little uh, measuring rule that you'll be able to quickly go in and see. You don't even really care how wide the board is. You will know by looking at that little rule what the number of board feet is. And if you know the price, it's very easy to figure out what the price of the board is. Okay, well, let's get started on this thing. I've never built one of these before, so uh, you're going to follow along with me and see how we make out. So what I'm starting off with, I've got a piece of wood. Uh, it's about half an inch thick, doesn't really matter. This one happens to be 20 inches long, and it's two and a half inches wide, so that's just a rough place to start. Uh, the other thing that I need to put on top of this, of course, is something that's going to be nice and flat, but something that's not going to bend. So I've got this metal bracket thing that I'm going to cut off. I'm going to do the John Hines thing with my angle grinder. I'm, I'm not nearly as talented as John is with his angle grinder, uh, but I'll do the best I can. And uh, it's pretty thick, so it shouldn't bend once we get it on there. So let's get grinding. When you're drilling into steel, it really helps if you've got a little bit of an indent so the drill bit doesn't wander. And whenever you're drilling small pieces, especially metal, on the drill press, it's a really good idea to have it fastened down. So to save time, I printed off one of these sheets off the internet that has all the scaling on it. So I'm using one inch. There's also two inch on this scale. And the way it works is quite simply, if you have an eight foot long board, and there's the feet, and it happens to be six inches wide, when you cross those two, you end up with four board feet. If you have, let's say, a 10 foot long board, that is, say, only three inches wide, it would be two and a half board feet. And that's the scale that I'm going to put on the rule. A four, a six, an eight, a 10, a 12, and I'll go 14 just because we can. <laughs> now I'm going to use those as a reference to start making my marks down here. So you can watch as I go along here. Now I need to divide this into thirds. So I'm going to, this is a two and a half inch wide board, so I'm gonna to have to do the math on that. So I found the third mark on these, and what I'm going to do, I'm just going to use my marking gauge, and I'm just going to run a line on each side of this board, just to give me a place that I know where each third of the board is. So I can't draw letters upside down. So I'm on your side of the camera now. And what I'm going to do is put a reference here. So I'm only going to use a few boards. When we're buying wood for woodworking, they're typically six feet long, eight feet long, or they might be 10. It's seldom that they're shorter or longer, but we can use some combinations and I'll show you how that works later on. So. The first marking we had here was the four inch. So a six foot board at four inches, I'm going to put a two right here, and that represents two board feet. At six feet, this is four inches. So 
um, sorry, six inches, so this now is three board feet at six feet, and this is four, six, eight inches. Now we're at four board feet, still in six inches. Well, now that I know where the markings are on our little um, ruler here, what I'm going to do, it's not very easy to hang on to, and I think if I'm wandering around a, a lumber store with this, uh, I want something that's a little bit easier. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut this down a little bit here and a little bit here, uh, and then we'll use the router and we'll just kind of round that over. There, I'll just cut that off in the bandsaw. There, that's a lot easier to hang on to. Well, here we are at Collins Lumber Store, and we're going to try out this um, lumber rule. Now, when you're buying lumber, I can tell you that there's all sorts of different ways, depending on where you're buying it, how they measure it, and how they sell it. Some places sell it vertically in bins like this, and very often, if you watch, they'll, ha they'll have the bins marked at, you know, four foot, six foot, eight foot, and so on, uh, and then they'll have a price on it, you know, six dollars a board foot or whatever it is. Some places will store it horizontally in bins like that, uh, and they'll usually mark on the outside that they're eight foot lengths in here, part of the bin, 10 foot lengths, these are eight foots, and so on. Um, but regardless of how you do it, this is how simple it is. So you go over to, let's, let's imagine that this one is an eight foot, for example. So it's eight foot, and you don't even need to know the width of it. As soon as you go over there, it tells you that if this is eight feet long, we're going to read this here, and it's going to be 2.67 board feet. That's all you need to know. You don't even need to know that it's four inches, and I've actually marked four, six, eight, ten on the side, but you don't even really need to know that because you just want to know how many board feet there are in it. Now, if we look at the next one, let's imagine that that one's seven feet. Um, and what we do with that one, when, again, we don't even really need to know the width of it. Now, this one is plain, this one is rough, and when they're plain, you need to go to the next biggest size, usually, uh, because they've planed that wood off, but you still, <laughs> it's sawdust now, but you still have to pay for it. So, in this case, they would call this a six-inch board, and we're saying that it's seven inches or sorry, seven feet. So I'm going to go between the two and imagine that this is seven feet. If this was a six foot board, it would be three board feet. If it was eight, it would be four board feet, but I'm going to go in the middle. So I'm going to say this is three and a half board feet. You know, it's that simple to use. Well, and that concludes my video on making a little lumber rule. What a great little tool. You know, it only takes, you know, an hour, a couple hours or so to make this. Um, and it's a great little thing to take along with you at the hardware store. You know what, if you're only buying one or two boards, it doesn't matter. If you're buying lumber to make desks or tables or something where you're buying 10 or 12 boards or you know <laughs> maybe you're in a lumber yard and you need to buy half a truckload of board what a great little thing to have for estimating the number of board feet in a board very quick and accurate way of doing that don't forget if you haven't already subscribed we ask you to do that like us on Facebook follow us on Twitter and for those brave ones of you who are following me on Instagram um, thanks for all your notes and comments. I'm Colin Kinnett for Woodwork Web. Keep on watching.